Hello. That's a pretty significant delay. I wonder how I'll change my delay. Hello to anyone who is joining. I am just testing out Hangouts on Air and uh, trying to prepare this so that me and some of my friends who are artists can hang out and work on art together. Um, if you're popping in while I'm setting up, I do have the Q&A app open so you can uh, type questions or post comments in YouTube and I'll be able to see them and answer them for you. Otherwise, um, sorry, but this is just mainly troubleshooting at the moment. <laughs> okay, it says one viewer. I'm guessing that's me. YouTube page, that's pretty cool. See if we can get Chew in here. Invite Chew, invite Keith. Here's hoping. Let's see what they think. Probably need to put my elbow in front of the camera and all that. send this out to some people on my Facebook too and see if we can get uh, some more viewers perhaps looks like Keith is joining Keith are you there I heard your chair what's up dude hey we are broadcasting live to my YouTube channel buddy oh wow yep hey look Chew's here too sweet yes. hello I got hey. the the Hangout Watch page. Yeah, man, isn't that cool? So, I used uh, saw we're that. broadcasting live to my YouTube channel right now. Yeah, I saw that. As well. So I'm going to try and see if I can get us some viewers in here. I've told everybody that we're just kind of 
uh, troubleshooting and testing yeah, things yeah. out. Good, good. Awesome. I'll show my face. I have to go to the supermarket in a second because it's closing down at 8. They still left the window. Oh, okay. It's closing down at 8, or at least for my is for me it's now uh, to 7. It's, nice. it's 10, right? Mm -hmm. Nice. All right, I'm going to mute the YouTube channel. Uh, it has about a minute and a half delay, so I don't know if you guys ended up pulling that up or not. I hear a Zelda. Boom, 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 boom. Right, I'll just go to the supermarket real fast, and uh, I'll come back. Okay, cool. Because, yeah, I just noticed I ate all my stuff. <laughs> okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Yes. i see you guys there. Okay, so I'm going to send this Boy. link to Mike as well, and see Enjoy. what he thinks. Good point. Yep, see ya. Again, for anyone just joining us, uh, please bear with us. We are just troubleshooting and learning how this system works. Got myself and uh, my cousin on here, and uh, also uh, good buddy Chu from the conceptart.org hangout. Um, trying to see if I can get some other people in here and come check some stuff out. All right, Mr. Keith. Hey. Like in your uh, lower thirds there. Both of us got that going. We'll have to get Chew one. Uh, it always sounds like I'm saying you, but it's Chew. <laughs> T-J-E-U is how his name is spelled. Uh, All right. So, so, right, so far we still we only have one viewer, which is okay. I'm okay with that. You want to do <clears> some warm-up um, gestures and then work on... Something that we want to do? Yeah, let's, um... Dude, check out th these right here. I completely just did these by, um... Just imagination. Cool. That's awesome, man. I mean, as far as the balance... And I gimped this one leg, but... <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I fixed it. Yeah. And then this guy kind of has a neat little, um... Stoic presence. So anyway, I figured it, instead of having my camera on my face, I'd put it on my paper so people could you know, see me draw and you know, doodle stuff and everything like That's that. Cool. Um, I'm going to have to get one of those pens. I like how it writes. thought that might be a little bit more of a appealing view, if you will. All right, Hangout Toolbox. I need to flip... My camera, so like if I'm having somebody check out something, I can be like, yeah, hey, check that out. Instead of having to... Um, yeah, do something differently or whatever. Uh, what do you think of this camera view, though? Showing... It's smart. I like it. It's showing just the for people who, you know, just don't want to stare at three dudes' faces, it's, you know... Gives them something to look at to understand what we're doing. So I'm gonna go to I guess quick poses. Oh I'm okay. The ladies. So some time gestures. Actually bookmark that. So I don't do the challenges by accident again. Um, how to draw this without breaking his leg. <laughs> See, like, I just cranked out another one. It's like, ah, what up? Just from imagination. That's a good thing, I guess. So I'm yep. starting to be able to get my uh, drawing gestures from imagination. All right, so what do we want to do uh, for this? How many... Um, so I'll go to quick poses, right? And yeah. uh, what do we want to set up? Uh, I'm just doing nudes. Um, 
30 seconds, and I'm going to do that for a little bit, then do 60, and then move on to just doing a finished piece. Okay, so we're going to start off with 60 second ones, and then... Uh, I'm doing 30. Oh, I'll 30 seconds, okay. I don't know, a couple minutes of those. All right. Just trying to loosen up, like you say. That's good. Hey, look, we got a new viewer. I don't know who's watching us, but welcome. Feel free to um, to pop any questions in the chat there. I think we can answer them live. I'm not sure exactly how that works. We're just kind of checking some things out here. Um, if you have any feedback, we'd love to hear it. Um, otherwise, we're just troubleshooting, which is why I labeled it testing. We're glad to have you. Okay. Um, so I'm getting my quick poses loaded up, and then we'll we'll get going here. But you're you're doing some sketches already, right, Keith? Yeah, I'm just. Going How many to minutes do you want to uh, go for on that? Um, I'm gonna do probably a couple more minutes of uh, 30 seconds, and then a minute of or two 60. Not much. I just. Wanna... How about How about we do um 10 minutes of 30 second poses? And then uh, 10 minutes of the the 60 second, so we'll have a 20 minute re warm up, and then uh, and then we could do our R today. Sounds good. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna go ahead and start my um, quick poses here. Get my sketch in place. If I seem like I'm in a hurry, it's just my wife called and said she wants to go to the dog park. I'm like, oh, I can have an hour or two of drawing. <laughs> I love you? that. Um, that's now your response, right? Because I remember when we first started talking, you were like, hey, you know, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep up with this multiple day regimen thing. And yep. uh, so what would you say your attitude is now? I would say that I'm starting to think, you know, as far as what I do with my time, you know, when can I do art? You yeah. Know, rather than when can I play Dark Souls? That's okay. a yeah. hell of a thing to make that switch from, you know? I get stressed out if I can't do something. And it's partly because I know that you're going to bug me if I haven't done anything. And the other thing is, uh, you know, I'm doing an art of day project now, so I'm like, if I don't do something... Right. And if it's not legit, you know, if it's you know something that's just a phone-in, people are going, eh... He's not doing it anymore. You're damn right. I would give you hell. <laughs> so, I'm back at the uh, stage here when I'm trying to do these 30 second poses that I'm getting a little bit anxious, right? Um, yeah. So I want to capture. I want to capture more than what I'm actually able to capture. Yeah, and I'm getting back to uh, just trying to get the form down in 30 seconds and not worry about what it looks like. So I think it's a little bit better for me yeah. as opposed to this morning. I wonder how um, I wonder how YouTube and Google handle the fact that we're doing like new gesture drawing on no. the air. Yeah, I wonder if if there's a big stink about that. I doubt it. As long as it's not porn, porn, it's uh. I don't think they have an issue with it. Yeah. Um, so we, we, we've got three viewers now. Uh, not sure who you are because it doesn't give me any kind of like breakdown on that. We are glad to have you. And uh, Keith and I are just working on some 30-second poses here. Trying to get warmed back up to do our art today, which will end up being significantly longer. And if you are unfamiliar with gesture drawing, the idea is to just get the motion of the body down uh, without any necessarily specific details or anything. You just want to convey the action that's happening, uh, either via line of action or um, you know some other significant way of demonstrating what's going on. And so the other thing I'm trying to do here is just keep an eye on how much page real estate I'm using 
per a given pose. The smaller you draw when you're doing gestures, the, uh, the easier it is to get through that 30 second pose, number one, and then number two, um, you, you get more figures on a page. Right. <clears throat> yeah, I find that, like when I'm, especially when I'm trying to loosen up, it's hard to draw small. Now I'm going to stop for just a second and see if I can find... I enabled the question and answers app, uh, but I'm not... I'm not seeing it here, so I'm going to try and see what I can do. Okay, Q&A. Select the button to answer a question. Okay, got it. <laughs> Chew said yes. <laughs> <laughs> Done. All right, that's kind of cool. Ask your audience to submit questions, and they will appear below. All right, audience, submit questions. <laughs> I have no clue how this works, quite honestly. Not a bad grouping of 30 second poses there. All right, so we're just gonna keep moving on here until I see a picture pop up or something. Yay, foreshortening. God, I am so bad with foreshortening. They also threw a coat on this guy, which obscures the figure, and he's wearing all black, too. So it's kind of... For 30 seconds, I guess that's all you get. Yep. Oh, Keith, I sent you a link uh, yeah. to something from uh, Bobby Chu that talks about... Um, a method that he calls the three error method. We were talking about it earlier. And uh, he talks about how just using three... Oh man, I didn't even get past her freaking body on that one. But using three arrows, you can... Um, draw any human face. And he specifically cites it being useful for when you are doing um, like subway sketching. He mm -hmm. teaches a whole class on subway sketching. And um, yeah, it's basically life drawing at its most rapid. Cool. Uh, but I think you would uh, get a lot of great insight out of it. Sorry if my hand's in the way here, folks. So this uh, lady's kind of in a just seated pose. I'm trying to exaggerate it a little bit just so kind of bring some life. Uh, it's kind of one of your goals with, with gesture drawing. <clears throat> and I'm not going to get the full figure in on that. That's okay. Wow, that looks bad right there. I could see it up on my screen and been broadcasting here. I'm like, wow, that looks terrible. Yeah, but I mean, it's not about what it looks like. It's just loosening up, you know. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm pretty confident that even though I'm like my gesture drawings suck, I mean, with enough time, I can draw anatomy fairly well. Yeah, and I think you're actually farther along with uh, being able to draw anatomy accurately than I am. Uh, so that's the interesting thing, is because you you um, hold my gesture drawings in high regard, which I don't get, but I hold your uh, full figure drawings, actually, in high well, regard. Well, one thing I can tell is when you start going to finish something, you're going to have already, in, in the speed that you draw, your proportions down, and you won't have to worry about whether things are going to be mapped out to look right once you actually start, you know, building on it. Yeah, um, 
that's something that I'm, I'm starting to develop a little bit of a confidence about, I guess. Um, but I don't, I don't know that I'm again quite where I want to be yet. All right, we have lost a viewer. Nobody asked any questions yet, so not seeing anything there. Oh, look, it's that Bieber lookalike again. We've got a girl who's got like powder going everywhere at the moment. And uh, I am by no means an expert at all of this stuff. Again, if you read the um, description there, we are just a couple of artists helping each other learn how to be better just by sh the mutual, the shared experience. And I am really trying to learn how to simplify my figures because I tend to get a little bit crazy trying to get too much detail in there. Oh wait, her shoulders are going like that and her hips are going like that, so that. Just leave that like that. This guy. Big stocky dude. I can tell there are certain poses I'm getting more comfortable with than others. Like uh, maybe that's just a common pose that a lot of these guys do, but I can just draw easily compared to others. Yeah. Oh, my wife is calling me. No. He had a shield. Okay. Give me just a moment. I'm gonna pause myself or quiet mute something. Mute. Look out, Sully.
All right, I'm back, and we have lost our other viewer. Dang it. All right, so... Um, let's see. We'll just keep on trucking along. How much more time on the 30 seconds? Uh, so, well, I've only got one, two, three, four... I've only got five minutes in, so I need five more minutes. Um, if you count your 30-second poses, you're looking to have... Uh, 20 total to have 10 minutes. Uh, that's all right, too. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I've definitely got twenty. <clears throat> <clears throat> So I'm going to go on the 16. <clears throat> how many minutes of those? You have how many? I have 20. Oh, okay. So you're at the you're at the goal <clears throat> uh, for that. So for the 60-second ones, you just want uh, 10 of them. All right, great. I'm going to do those in pen. <clears throat> Supposed to be that way. Okay. <clears throat> Mark these 30, 30, 30. All right. Well, so far we only have the one viewer. We don't have any. Nobody asked any questions. I think the one viewer now is me. <laughs> yep. Well, that's okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah. I don't know why any. I don't know why any questions. It's fine by me, man. I'm not sure if I could feel any questions at the moment. Oh, that's all right. I'm. I just. Uh, it just puts it up on my little side window here. I don't know if you get the same <clears throat> uh, core functionality that I get there. Anyway, back to thirty-second poses. Let's see what I got. <laughs> Turn out the dog. <clears throat> you should be sorry about the dog. Jeez. Can't believe you're a dog. Maybe. So they be quiet. I order you to be quiet. Hey, look, it's that French maid chick you were talking about. Rather barely the outfit. <laughs> She's got a nice like body curve going on though. Onto something there.
I don't think that's actually a way that you would stand to uh, shoot a bow and arrow. They are trying to dramatize it, so I get it. Stupid dog. Stupid dog. They always give me these ones of these people holding their knees, and I guess, I mean, I guess that's a fairly expressive pose, right? I mean, fear, uncertainty or something. Roman dude. They always, they always give him this shield, which obscures so much. And then they throw this chick at you with the come hither stare. Mm hmm. I'm just like, hey, look, lady, I'm drawing. Yeah, when we had a uh, wife drawing classes, I mean, the first time I drew nudes, at first, you know, everybody's like, embarrassed. Hey, cool. Oh my god, what do you do? Yeah, but then you just kind of get over it, and you're like, how do I get this nipple right? And, uh, you know, that went on for a while. And how then, do I get this nipple right? Yep. <laughs> and then there's uh, one time there was this remarkably beautiful girl that no one could, like, really, except for the women, of course, keep completely focused on. She was just, I mean, she, without even trying, was sensual. It was just, it was a hard class. I mean, it was a joy. <laughs> it was hard to focus. I guess that, you know. It turned out she was a, a bartender at one of the bars downtown at school, and it was really odd seeing her out in public. You're like, hey, I've seen you naked. Yeah, exactly. Hey, girl. But she was chill. It was cool. Well, I mean, you kind of got this big ass head on this person here. Oh, I don't even know how many of these I've done. <laughs> I think I'm way beyond the the warm up period here. All right, he's got this jacket thing, and then got a knee going there, and he's got the other knee going outward and down. Ooh, psycho chick with an axe. Creepy. Ow! <laughs> 
weird pose on that one. And I'm gonna so finish with this page. Wires. Oh, look, I skipped an entire two pages in my sketchbook. Whoops. Oh. La da dee, la da da, la da dee, la da. Oh, look, it says Q&A live. It's showing me uh, drawing on my thing here. I wonder where they ask the questions. Let's test that. Yeah. How are you? Good, how are you? Drawing make a dude. I say that. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh yeah! We're here. We're on a live chat too, so. Well, hey. yeah, but I'm the only viewer, so it's not like. Come here, Sully. Jump up. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Let's see if this question will come in to um. What you doing? Chat what here. You doing? I love you. I love you. Don't see anything happening. Maybe it is also delayed. Perhaps I don't know. Hello, I say hello. Questions, questions, questions. There is no questions that are showing. What, are what time doing? is it now? What is this? Uh, I suppose. Questions, or is that considered spam? This is going to have to be my actual drawing session because uh, we're going to leave in about 20 minutes to go to the dog park. Ah. Uh, Balance out. Oh, wait. I wonder if they have to be asked in here. Let's see. Q&A, Q&A, questions. Ask your audience to submit questions and they will appear below. I have asked my audience to submit questions. My audience has submitted questions. It does not shrink anything. We've been on the air for 39 minutes. Cool. Um, well, what do you think about doing this uh, kind of perma permanent hangout situation where like we just kind of add artists as we go and I like it. Okay. Um I don't know that this link is a permanent hangout link, but I think it is. All right, I'm going to finish out my page. All right. For these poses. Oh, that's a cool one. She's just kind of like throwing everything up in the air. She's looking up in the air. Ruby. Uh, oh yeah, this is a good one to end on. Actually really liking my line quality on this too. I'm going to stop that. Dude, check this one out. One sec. And save. Let me go back to the do flashy. Oh, cool. That one. That looks good. 
That is awesome. Looks good. And then I, I skipped a couple of pages by accident. You should, like, in between these uh, gesture drawings, just draw, like, really well done life drawings of breasts. So when somebody's flipping through the book... <laughs> it just boobies. <laughs> boobies. Okay, that's the stuff from earlier. So I have done a double life drawing session today. Oh, I accidentally closed out of quick poses without saving my progress. Womp womp. Yeah, that was certificate this. for me. I mean, even if I don't draw anything else today, I mean, I've done a pretty good amount of um, drawing. Yeah, definitely. Like, okay, so if I go through my stuff, just starting with my 30 seconds, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm doing what you're doing now, marking times. Did you see the... Um... I got 97 poses, dude. Sweet, man. Whew. Did I see the, um, what? Did you see the sketch of Jack that I did last night? Yeah, I did. Um, and it was, uh, it was later when I saw it, so I didn't get to uh, comment. But, um, yeah, I think something that could, could really help you in general is if you... Um, start with uh, just an idea of the form of the shape of his head rather than going straight into sketching details. Um, yeah, do you, I, get, you do get what I mean the, by that? The digital sketch, right? That's my uh, warm-up. Do you think I should do more than just one warm-up? Mm -mm. What I mean is um, so when you're when you're drawing his face instead of like going straight into you know what his face actually looks like just start just start you know working Mapping working out the value yep. like he's a cat and he's got a round head and and he's got the he's got the little nose thing going on and then you know he's got that you know, the pouty face, but, like, instead of going straight to, um, uh, details, Detail. do something like that, so you get the value study, and then you can come back in and be like, okay, he's got this, you know, like, whiskery fur kind of thing going on, and, <clears throat> you know, he's a yeah. cat. He's got yeah. this. Because then when you lay that stuff over top of your value... It gives it gives a lot more of a um, uh, it's almost textured like and full yeah. look is what I'll, I'll take that advice. I you know I've been told that before, so that's just something I need to take to heart. But the reason why I do it the way I do it is to try and uh, and this is just learned. I don't know if it's the right way. It may not be trying to map out the features so that they all kind of line up. You know? Yeah. No, I, I get that. And that's time. where, like, our gesture drawing is supposed to fill that in. Yeah. I'll get so far into a drawing, though, and I'll be like, wait a second. Wait, I've been doing this this whole time, and his eyes are way too small, dude, and I can't mm -hmm. It's a mess. Yep. That's but that's why, you, that's why you do something with value first, and, you know, you start out with your lighter values, your uh, 2H, HB, something like that, something that you can erase. Yep. And, um, you know, I think this is a 2B that I'm using here. So this will be, you know, it's probably pretty easy to erase, but I've got some pretty dark values going already. This yeah. looks like a really evil yeah, I, I'll take 
Take that to heart. Yes. <laughs> I need to do that. Looks like a wolf. Here, let me show you these uh, gestures. I think you might think they're a little bit better. Um, these are the 60 seconds, the ones that show up on camera. Okay. So, how do I get rid of my lower third? Let's turn that off for now. Alright, so... Oh, you don't want people to come visit you? Well, no, I just it takes up too much room on the screen. Oh, yeah, dude, those are good. You're starting to... Um, so, I would emphasize exaggeration a little bit more. Yeah. Um... Like that dude on the top, yeah, you could you could definitely splay him out a little bit more, right? So like if I'm if I'm drawing that same pose, uh, I don't know if you can see my screen or not. There we go. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna really initially lay out a a really rough like that's his arm line. Instead of trying to go immediately for the muscles, and then I'm gonna go. Right. Okay, his his stomach is crunched in a little bit. Give him a hunch over on this side, and then that gives me the ability to go. Okay, now his legs. You know, you get that you get that exaggerated quality to it, and you can still convey the same pose. Uh, maybe his legs are going like that instead. Yeah, I think his legs are going like that from what I can see. Um, are his feet out to the side? Is it kind of? Um, they're kind of foreshortened. You okay. can kind of tell that a little bit. But that's. Uh, like his feet are not all the way out to the side. They're there we go. Overlapping his calves. So that's what I got there. Yeah. Uh, for that same pose. But <clears throat> um, there's no there's no like um, tenseness or tense. To, to the to the muscles, um, because in a in a thirty second sixty second drawing, all you're really trying to do is get the idea of the pose. Um, we're not so worried about the muscle structure until we get into like the two minute or three minute or longer poses. Yeah, and um, you can look at these other ones. You can kind of see that I'm starting to. I wouldn't say get better, but I'm trying to consciously use less line and uh, just kind of get the, like I say, the pose. I'm yeah, still okay, see this, this one over on here on the um, top left is uh, yeah. really nice because I can, I can feel, I'd still maybe uh, get a more exaggerated slant to the shoulders because every time I see mm -hmm. a slant on something, I over-exaggerate it on purpose because then my piece actually ends up looking like that pose. Like this one here, um, the guy's shoulders weren't quite as slanted, but by exaggerating the slant and then pointing his face even further down, you get that that sense that like there's something going on. Um, and right. like this chick, you know, she's jumping in the air, got her arms all f flayed out and stuff like that, but I'm um, trying to use rhythmic patterning of the lines. Yeah, I like the guy with the bow. That's kind of neat. That's actually a chick. <laughs> I didn't I didn't the draw the... The girl way next to that girl is really good as far as how her back's arched and... That one? Yeah. Like that was the one that was like, uh, had the come hither stare that I was like, hey, quit it. I'm drawing. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've got one more page of stuff, I believe. I think some of my 30 seconds are actually more expressive than my 60 seconds. Quite yeah. Honestly. All right, that was 30. Yeah, there's the last page. Nice, yeah. So I can see you're um, you're carrying that simpler thought process into it. You're definitely uh, like I remember the initial 60 second and two minute poses that you and I did. And you had more value in there, and you were, you know, highlighting muscle groups and things like that. Um, and then it's clear that uh, you've you've really taken some of the things that we studied on Proko's video to heart, where you know, simplify the lines, go for economy of line. I'm still see, I'm I'm guilty of like that should be one line. I I really I need to stop doing this itchy scratchy. 
kind of thing. I'm getting the well, poses. Well, you seem to go back and forth like I do. Like, you're doing Itchy Scratchy right now, but if you look yeah. back at your previous drawings, you yeah, seem like, to be more about economy. That one was awesome. The yeah, start, this uh, the 32nd. I need to do more like that. This yeah. whole page actually was pretty good, but I was relying on contour pretty heav heavily. So yeah, it looks then like I you're was concerned about the forms, the the volume of the forms. Yeah, and I'm I'm trying to. And for I 60 seconds, I think that's fine, but those are 30 second drawings, right? Yeah, those are 30 seconds. Yeah, so maybe go with more of a stick figure type idea. Like this one. Yeah, I like that one. That one was really cool because I mean, like his arms just did okay. this thing, and then his hands. His. Yep. His, uh, the girl, the girl who's kind of got her hip to the side on the other page. This one. Beneath the come hither, yeah. Yeah, that's that same trick, by the way, from from the sixty second. It was the yeah. exact same photo. Unfortunately, it does kind of repeat a couple of times. But it's cool. all good. I'm gonna have to go. Um, I gotta okay. let the dog out, and then we're gonna head to the dog park. All right, I'm gonna probably go ahead and um, stop the uh, the hangout on air. Okay. Um, Thanks for thanks for checking it out. I think I'm gonna try and make this a more permanent thing, get more people in here, and then um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll post my um, post my art a day later. I'm trying to figure out whether you know what kind of character I want to draw, whether I want to draw something that's already been done, that's recognizable, or something that you know, I just want to do because I want to do it. Yeah, the only reason I want to do that thing I described earlier is because I'm kind of getting into that game. And, uh, I don't know, I like to kind of... Yeah, well, that's one of the things that I definitely, um, I know from experience, the more you draw the things that you like and can identify with, the more excited you are to draw. Yep. So, if you force yourself to draw something that you don't like to draw every single time, then you're just going to be like, ah, oh, this is a chore. That's yeah. right. So, All right, well, I'll talk to you um, sometime tonight. All right, dude. See ya. All right, peace.